Greetings, m squared, we're going to combine some more like terms. So just a reminder, you can only combine y squareds with y squareds. The variable part of each term has to be exactly the same in order to combine it with another term. So even though there's a y there, it's not a y squared. So you cannot combine a y squared with a y. So remember, the variable parts have to be exactly the same. Let's get started. These are exactly the same variable parts. So when they're the same variable parts, we know we're going to have y squared, and we're going to have 6y squared minus 7y squared. That's a negative 1y squared. And it's okay to just put minus y squared, too, if you don't want to put the 1 there. That only works for 1, though. Everything else you have to put there. So then we have a negative 20y and a positive 10y, and a negative 20 plus 10 is a negative 10y. And then we are all simplified. Over here, we can combine y's, so we'll circle Make sure you get the sign in there. We'll circle all the y's. 9y plus 7y is 16y. And then I have a minus 16y, which gets me 0. Because if I have 16 of 16 apples and I minus 16 apples, I just have 0 apples. And you could say 0y, but 0 times y is just 0. So keep in mind that when things cancel out, you get a 0. You don't get 0y's or just 1y. Some people think you get 1y. When when you have 16 of something and you subtract the same amount of something, you have zero things. So let's look at the numbers next. We have negative 11 minus 3, which gets us neg negative 14. And then when we add 10, we get a negative 4. And so since this was zero, this is our answer, because zero plus negative 4 is negative 4. Okay, here, we'll start with our numbers since it's our first term. And these are our numbers. So 31 plus 43, 1 plus 3 is 4, 3 plus 4 is 7, so that's 74. And then I have to combine it with the 50, since it's a like term. 74 minus 50 is 24. And we're going to use our x's. These two are our x's. Negative 2 plus 14 is 12x. So negative 2, or you could say it this way, 14x minus 2x is 12x. And then you'll see that this is the only y. So there's nothing to combine it with, but we still have to include it. So we could put that, it doesn't matter really what order you put it in. I'll put the 7y first, then I'll say plus 12x, because there was no sign in front of it. That means it's positive, so I'm adding it. And then I get a plus 24, because that also was positive. And that's our answer. On to the next one. We have an 8x squared and a negative 7x squared. Well, 8x squared is minus 7x squared. 8 of something minus 7 of something is 1 of something. And our somethings are the x squareds. So we have an x squared there. And then we'll go with our x's next. Looks like those are the only x's. So a negative 9x plus x is a negative 8x. And finally with our numbers, we have 13 plus 7, which is 20. And then we have to minus 15. And 20 minus 15 is 5. And since it's a positive 5, I put plus 5. And that's our answer. And again, you don't have to you have that 1 there. You could just write it like this. And later, as you get on in math, you won't see them put a 1 in there. But if you want to at this point, no one's going to count you wrong for it. So good luck with that. Make sure you're just combining the things that can be combined. That's number 1. And number 2, watch the signs in front of each term. Good luck. M squared, sign it out.